Hi, and welcome to this walkthrough video of Arbex's newest edition of three predefined roles to help better secure your infrastructure. Now, you may be familiar with our current roles of owner, member, and biller, but now we've added three new ones, including modifier, billing viewer, and resource viewer. Let's dive into a Kubernetes cluster to show the different type of roles and their permissions. So as a member, you can see that I have access to create, update, and delete. I have the ability to create Kubernetes, um, add a node pool, delete nodes. I'm able to add high availability or upgrade the cluster. Pretty much anything that a shared resource can do, a member could do. Now let's look at how this changes for a modifier. So for this very same cluster, I still have the ability to create anything um, or update, but you see the ability to delete is gone. Now let's take a look with the same cluster and how it looks for a resource viewer. Now as a resource viewer, you can see how this cluster is already very different in the UI. You can see that the create button is no longer here. I can't add any node pools. I, I still can't delete. I don't have the ability to uh, add high availability. I can only run a check in regards to upgrades, but can't actually upgrade the cluster. And I can't delete any node pools. Now as a billing viewer, I'm able to have read-only access to just the billing page, as you can see. Now the billing viewer has limited read-only access. They can see things like the estimated due, the month-to-date summary, the discounts, and the droplet transfer overview, and as well as the invoice history. A billing viewer can download the previous invoices. Billing viewers, however, can access any billing settings. For instance, seeing your tax location and your company billing address. Billing viewers also can't see payment method or even set up billing alerts. So as a teen owner, I would navigate to the user I want to change their role to, change their role, and then select the new role. And just like that, that user now has resource viewer permissions only. With the updated invite experience, you can do this by selecting the role during the invite process. I am not able to currently select owner as owners can only be assigned after they join the team as non-owners. This is to greatly enhance your security and make sure that owners are only getting their roles when absolutely necessary. However, I am able to select any other role that I want. So let's say, for instance, I want to invite a new team member to my team as a billing viewer. I would just go ahead and select the role of billing viewer and add the user's email. So in this instance, I uh, would be inviting example at example.com as a billing viewer to my team. I would go ahead and invite that user. Now I can invite that user and they would automatically join as a billing viewer and you wouldn't need to monitor this table and then change their permissions after they have joined. To help your team members better understand their permissions and their roles, we have added definitions to roles. A user could simply navigate to their account dropdown and look at their role and how their role is defined. Thank you and happy coding.